Hello everyone, my name is Adam and welcome back to Let's Glitch Pokemon Yellow. Uh, now in today's episode, um, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get yourself a level 100 Mew, because uh, it uses a similar sort of concept to um, the level 100 Nido King that we got. Um, but it's a Mew, so it's just a like, little bit better. Um, so, first, I'm going to be showing you a little miscellaneous glitch. Um, Basically, uh, I would like this Bulbasaur right here um, in order for me to help whittle down Mew's health because it knows Leech Seed, so I'll take it down to a nice even amount um, or a nice and low amount, even sorry. Um, and uh, it will make it a lot easier to catch. Uh, but unfortunately, I need my Pikachu to like me a certain amount, and it says it needs a good trainer to take, take care of it now. And uh, Pikachu, well, is he's pretty content is not really very happy not happy enough for me to get this ball so so one little um, glitch you can do is if you use an item if you use an item on a Pokemon like a potion uh, it will increase their happiness so it will boost their affection towards you but if they're at full health it still boosts their affection but it doesn't use the item so I say it won't have any effect so if you just use a lot of potions just sit here and I'm gonna sit here on speed and spam it for a little bit. Do it for long enough. You can get your Pikachu all the way up to the max affection rate. No, I'm not looking to get it all the way to the max affection rate, I'm just looking to get him up to a decent amount. As you can see, Pikachu's now a lot happier with us. The affection rate has gone up. So hopefully, this person should now let us take this Bulbasaur. There we go. Yes, I would love to take the wolf. So that's just a little miscellaneous glitch you can use to help boost your Pikachu's affection rating. But now onto the main stuff. Uh, so since last time, all I've done is I've made my way to Cerulean. As you can see, I haven't beaten Misty yet. Um, and I have gone to Bills, fought people on the route to Bills, apart from two people. I'll point those two people out, they're very important. Um, I have a Pikachu that has to be a higher level, or something that knows Growl. Um, a high enough level so it won't get destroyed instantly, so my level 16 should be alright. Um, I have the Nido King, Charmander because he's awesome. The Abra is very important for using Teleport, because we can't fly it, and we're not in a cave or anything, so we can't use an escape rope. And the Bulbasaur's there, like I just said, to whittle down Mew's health. So what we're going to do, you use a similar concept to what we did with the Nido King. Fought all these trainers on the bridge. Because there is another long range trainer that lives just south of me. He's li just there. So if I move if I move down the tile from here, um he'll spot me and try and get to a battle with me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save the game. So I would love to save the game. Right here. I'm going to save a state. And I'm going to see if I can do this. There we go. Now, we won't be able to use an escape rope here. We don't have fly, so Abra. Use teleport. Take us to the last Pokemon Center, which is Cerulean. So the player, so the dude spots us. We teleport away. Right. So start menu doesn't work. As usual, with the long range trainer. I'm just gonna head on up here. And we're gonna go into this area. So this is technically a new route now. Uh, it's alright to fight all these dudes along here. Apart from this guy right here. This guy right here has a level 17 slowpoke, which is very important. Now, um, one thing to note, do not walk into the tile directly in front of him. He has to have room to walk up to you, otherwise it will just freeze your game. You won't be able to move. So, I'm just going to go into this tile here. So he has room to walk up to me. And he is going to have a level 17 slowpoke. And because it's a trainer Pokemon, it stats are set. So they won't vary a bit, so we should get a Mew. Hopefully, 100%. So we need to, uh, as usual, growl at it six times, so there's one. 
How much damage does he do? Should be alright. Keep going in this tank. That's two. Three. I'm gonna need to switch out to heal, actually. Don't need that bar anymore. That's three growls. Three grounds off. So it should be four. Five. Six. There is a tank all the way down to zero. So now if we do it again it should nothing happen. That should kill us. So then we can just proceed to just eliminate. Alright. So start menu should work now, but I advise that you don't use it. And what we're gonna do is walk on down here. Now one thing I did I don't. I can't remember if I mentioned or not. Make sure you have one slot left. You can have a maximum five Pokemon. If you have six, but if you have tried this before, if you have six Pokemon, then the, the mule gets sent to your PC, and you will not ever be able to withdraw it, which sucks because I've done that many times. So the start menu popped open. Close that menu, and we're in a battle. Right. Never fear. It's only a level one mule. Right, so Nido King is going to be sent out first, which is all right. It's going to want to switch to Bulbasaur real quick. Just going to go ahead and save a state, just you know, just in case. So use Leech Seed. So now I mean, it should start whittling Mew's health down pretty easily. I'm just going to speed this up a bit. Get Mew's health down to a reasonable area. I think right now I'm going to start throwing Pokeballs. So I brought a decent amount with me. Come on. Do you know you want to get in the Pokeball? Don't do this to me. No. Oh, this is why I saved state. I just wrote over it. Brilliant. Well, let's try this again. Teleport away, as per usual. Pretty standard. Not need to speed all the way over here. You guys get the basic idea. Come on up here. Start menu doesn't work, it's fine. Go on, but I almost sped there, but then I realized that they put me directly in front of the dude. Which is not what you want to have happen, so growl. One. Two, three. Gonna have to switch out and heal again. Ah, shit, I didn't use that So we've got three girls off. I'll just kill them, please. Thank you. Three, four, five, six. Just check, nothing happened. Right, let's proceed to flatten this hope up again. Here yeah, and there should be a level one mute. Here we go, level one mute. So, let's do this again. Let's try and capture this mute. Hopefully, he's not as stubborn. Because in pre recordings, I managed to get him first try. Because um, Mew is, let's just say, pretty difficult to catch. So, I'm just going to give it a couple of turns as soon as he gets close to orange. I think we're going to start throwing. Now, because we should have enough Pokemon. Come on, just please catch. Oh, yes, got it. Right. We have ourselves a level 1 Mew. Now, like the Nido King, it's going to have a negative amount of XP because it technically shouldn't exist. So, if that menu works, everything's completely fine. We now have this level 1 Mew. All is good. And we know it's bound, which is always interesting. Alright, so, just like before, we're gonna head on down here. I'm gonna go heal this dude up, and go heal up my party. So I would love to heal my Pokemon, thank you very much. Swap you to first. 
let's go. Wait, let's just check. No, I don't want to heal. Let's just check how much uh, XP does Mew need. Mew needs 63 total. So as long as we get less than 63 XP, all should be good. Right. Now let's buff one over to this grass. Right, level 8 Spearow. Welcome. Just gonna send out a whole bunch of Pokemon again, just so we get uh, the XP spread nice and thin. This should be more than enough. I'm gonna flatten it. 12 XP and level 100 Mew. Who doesn't love it? Look at those stats. Holy crap. So now, our level 100 Mew only knows Pound, but it's a level 100 Mew, so we can teach it anything we want. So, uh, we have this TM. Contains Bite. Ah, that's pretty crap, actually. We get that from Brock. We have some more TMs. Thunder Wave. Oh, we might as well teach it Thunder Wave, I guess. There you go, Mew. No, no Thunder Wave anymore. TM28, what's this? Contains dig. I'm gonna hold off on teaching dig to Mew. Dig could be quite important. So now, just to showcase how amazing Mew is, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take him into the gym just so we can completely just demolish Misty with uh, our level 100 Mew. Oh, hello. You think your petty gold team is gonna be enough to beat me? You think I'm gonna have two level 100 Pokemon on? I could, I could literally flatten the entire game with just these two Pokemon. Dead and dead. It's just Mew is just so overpowered when it's level 100. Thank you very much for giving me the Cascade badge. I don't know what it does. Now he's cut, so it's nice. And we can have this TM. I think contains Bubble Beam. Let's have a look. Yep, there you go, Bubble Beam. Let's teach that to me. Uh, Nido King, surprisingly, even though it's a poison and ground type, can learn Bubble Beam. I did not know that. Well, that was fun. So now, um, our party is looking pretty set. I'm actually going to go drop off the Abra, because I don't think I'm going to be needing it anytime soon for new glitches in any further episodes. Um, so I'm just going to go drop off the Abra. on a level 32 PG. Yeah. So, uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want in the game now. You pretty much own the game. You could go and take this level 100 ne Mew and Nido King and just go flatten the entire Elite Four with it, if that's what takes you fancy. Um, but because this is a light glitch, I'm going to be using these to my advantage. Um, so, look forward to uh, um, other parts where I'm going to be bringing you more glitches. And until next time, everyone, take care.